Hello, and welcome to our module on Scrum principles in the SBOT guide. So far in our journey towards Scrum, we have learned how to use the Scrum body of knowledge. In many of the previous videos, we have only mentioned the Scrum principles. Now, in this module, we will look at these principles more closely. So why are these principles so important? Because the Scrum principles are the core guidelines for applying the Scrum framework and should always be used in all Scrum projects. So let's take a look at these principles. The six Scrum principles are empirical process control, self-organization, collaboration, value-based prioritization, time boxing, and iterative development. You can see how they are arranged in this diagram. Note that Scrum principles can be applied to any type of project in any organization and should always be followed in order to ensure effective implementation of the Scrum framework. Scrum principles are non-negotiable and should be applied as specified in the SBOT guide. Keeping the principles intact and using them appropriately instills confidence in the Scrum framework with regard to attaining the objectives of the project. On the other hand, the Scrum aspects and processes can be modified to meet the requirements of the project or the organization. Following is a detailed look at each principle, beginning with empirical process control. This principle emphasizes the core philosophy of Scrum, based on the three main ideas of transparency, inspection, and adaptation. The second principle is self-organization. It focuses on today's workers, who deliver significantly greater value when encouraged to self-organize, rather than working under command and control style of traditional project management. The third principle, collaboration, focuses on the three core dimensions related to collaborative work. That is, awareness, articulation, and appropriation. It also advocates project management as a shared value creation process, with teams working and interacting together to deliver the greatest value. The fourth principle is value-based prioritization. This principle highlights the focus of Scrum to deliver maximum business value, beginning early in the project, and continuing throughout. The fifth principle is time boxing. This principle emphasizes time as a limiting constraint in Scrum. Time boxing is used to help effectively manage project planning and execution. Time boxed elements in Scrum include sprints, daily stand up meetings, sprint planning meetings, and sprint review meetings. And finally, we have iterative development as the sixth principle. This principle defines iterative development and emphasizes how to better manage changes and build projects that satisfy customer needs. It also delineates the product owner's and organization's responsibilities related to iterative development. That covers the six Scrum principles. These will continue to be developed throughout our other course modules. Thank you for learning with us.